Baltimore, Maryland is a city filled with history. In some cases, that history comes to life in the form of ghosts or other paranormal activity. Ghost hunters from around the globe visit the popular city in hope of finding some truth to the many ghost rumors. Let's take a closer look at some of the most haunted places in Baltimore, Maryland. The Westminster Church Cemetery is a favorite destination for fans of famous writer Edgar Allan Poe. Although so people may visit the cemetery to pay their respects to the famous writer, others come in hopes of seeing his ghost. Stories stating he wanders the grounds as well as the church are not uncommon. People who have been to the cemetery also state that the spirits of people who were buried alive at the location can be seen around the area. If you venture to the cemetery, do not be surprised if you smell a horrid odor as it is said it accompanies one spirit as well as muffled screams. Ghost hunters who have visited the location claim that one ghost tries to scare them off the premises. The ghost died in 1816 at the age of 16. Her name was Lucia Watson Taylor. When in search of haunted places in Baltimore, one place to be visited is the USS Constellation. This amazing vessel has been in service since 1854 and is not lacking in the paranormal activity category. In use for more than 100 years, including serving in both the Civil War and World War II, it is not unusual that people visiting the now restored ship encounter the ghosts of seamen that once served on the ship. Seeing former crew members wandering about the ship is not the only activity people encounter. One ghost that wanders the ship wears an old-fashioned navy uniform and has been identified as Captain Thomas Truxton. Another ghost likes to give tours and play cards with people visiting the vessel. Near the gun and forecastle decks are the ghosts of a sailor who committed suicide and a surgeon's assistant who was 11. People have also had problems with electronics malfunctioning upon boarding the ship. Cell phones that suddenly stop working properly are one of the most common issues people experience. People interested in seeing if there are ghosts still living on the USS Constellation can stay overnight and do a bit of their own ghost hunting. The horse you came in on Salone, located in Baltimore's historic Fells Point, has gained notoriety as the most haunted restaurant in Maryland. Established in 1775, it's recognized as America's oldest continuously operating saloon and is steeped in a rich haunted history that adds to its unique ambience and character. The saloon was frequented by Edgar Allan Poe, a renowned writer and poet, and was reportedly the last place he visited before his mysterious death in 1849. Numerous sightings and encounters with Poe's ghost have been reported, with patrons claiming to have seen him walking down the street toward the saloon, and even witnessing unexplained occurrences such as a glass of cognac being emptied throughout the night. The establishment has been associated with various ghostly encounters, including floating orbs or spirit energy that have been spotted at the bar. The presence of these phenomena is believed to contribute to the haunted reputation of the saloon. In summary, the horse you came in on Salone's haunted history, particularly its association with Edgar Allan Poe, has contributed to its allure and has made it a must-visit destination for those intrigued by the supernatural. The reported ghostly encounters and the establishment's rich historical significance have added to its enduring appeal and fascination. The Admiral Felon has all the makings of being one of the most haunted places in Baltimore. With a history that dates back to the 1700s, it has seen many people call the place either a short-term or a long-term home. The Admiral Felon is considered one of the most haunted hotels in Maryland. It is no wonder since many patrons have died in the hotel between the sick sailors and possible mob victims. The Sun, now known as the Baltimore Sun, reported that one sailor even shot himself on hotel property. These sailors enjoyed alcohol, prostitutes, and gambling. Guests have reported seeing floating sailors where there used to be fire escape stairs and butlers knocking on their hotel doors. Sometimes they are seen wandering the halls or heard partying upstairs. Once in a while, a ghost dog is even spotted playing in the hallways. The ghosts also like playing tricks on guests by setting off alarm clocks at strange times. 
A guest heard footsteps and saw a woman walk through the wall before telling him to lie back down. It is not just the guests who have witnessed these ghosts either. There was an incident after an evacuation due to a hurricane. The hotel manager heard a loud party going on even though the hotel was empty. In 2003 when the tropical storm Isabel hit, the general manager heard a similar party upstairs, but the hotel was empty once again. It sounds like the seamen did not get their share of partying while they were alive, so it seems that they continue even in death. Located in Baltimore, Maryland, Fort McHenry stands as a prominent historical landmark with great significance in the annals of American history. Positioned at the entrance of Baltimore Harbor, this formidable coastal fort played a pivotal role in the War of 1812, notably during the Battle of Baltimore in September 1814. Its valiant defense against British naval forces, marked by the resilient raising of the large American flag, famously known as the Star-Spangled Banner, inspired Francis Scott Key to compose the national anthem. The fort's strategic location and robust defenses underscore its historical importance, serving as a symbol of American resilience and patriotism. Today, Fort McHenry is a national monument and historic shrine, attracting visitors who seek to explore its well-preserved grounds, gain insight into its pivotal role in shaping American history, and pay homage to the birthplace of the Star-Spangled Banner. Hundreds of people, both British and American, died at the location. Further people died at the location during the Civil War and a deadly flu epidemic in 1919. Many of the soldiers, nurses, and patients that died at Fort McHenry have never left according to reports. It is quite common to feel a strange or odd sensation when walking around the property. Seeing the ghosts of soldiers who still appear to be marching, just as they did in life, is another common sight. To further add to the reasons Fort McHenry is among the most haunted locations in Baltimore are the reports that people feel they are being watched as well as unusual and sometimes frightening noises coming from the spirits of prisoners once held in the dungeons. The U.S. CGC Taney, a U.S. Coast Guard ship docked at Pier 5 in Baltimore, Maryland, is renowned for its haunted reputation. As the only surviving combat ship from Pearl Harbor, it endured 119 kamikaze attacks during World War II, leading to persistent reports of paranormal activity. Visitors and former crew members have recounted encounters with apparitions, footsteps, and voices, even through the ship's non-operational PA system. One visitor claimed to capture voices of ghosts on video, while another described seeing a man in white and a young boy waving, visible only to a young child. Investigated by TV's Ghost Hunters, the ship remains a subject of entry due to its haunting stories and experiences shared by individuals with ties to the vessel. The continued accounts of paranormal encounters contribute to the ship's reputation as a haunted place, drawing the interest of those intrigued by the supernatural. Edgar Allan Poe, a renowned American writer, poet, and literary critic, is often associated with tales of the macabre and the supernatural. His former residence, the Edgar Allan Poe House and Museum in Baltimore, Maryland, is steeped in history and is a popular destination for literature enthusiasts and those intrigued by Poe's enigmatic life and works. While the house itself is not officially recognized as haunted, it is emblematic of the Gothic atmosphere that permeates Poe's literary legacy. Visitors to the museum often experience an eerie and evocative ambience, evoking the spirit of Poe's haunting tales and the mysterious events that often feature in his works. The museum stands as a homage to Poe's enduring influence on American literature and his enduring legacy in the realm of the eerie and the supernatural. And it is almost expected that the home of the famous dark writer would be haunted on some level. Due to a number of factors, the home that was built somewhere in the 1800s is among the most haunted locations in Baltimore where Poe resided. For more than a century, people have made claims that a female ghost haunts the home. The woman is on the heavier side and has gray hair. Some believe she is Poe's wife, others believe there is no connection to Poe, only to the house. Other experiences have included the sound of footsteps, thumps around the house, along with windows and doors opening and closing. 
Some people even claim to have seen Poe's ghost wandering outside the home and inside. The Middleton Tavern in Annapolis, Maryland, is surrounded by stories of paranormal encounters and has gained a reputation for being haunted. The building, dating back to the 1700s, has a history of serving as a private residence and various businesses. Today, it is a bustling restaurant and bar renowned for its seafood. Here are some notable details about the haunting of the Middleton Tavern. The tavern is said to be haunted by a former Revolutionary War soldier who has been spotted at the first floor windows, exhibiting mischievous behaviors such as throwing dishes and glasses across the room and knocking over tables covered in dirty dishes. Additionally, a shadowy figure has been reported to swiftly glide through the dining rooms, turning wall lamps upside down and moving tables and chairs. Reports suggest that the tavern continues to experience paranormal activity, making it a place where visitors might encounter eerie happenings firsthand. Despite the potential for ghostly encounters, the tavern remains a popular destination for those seeking to enjoy Annapolis's renowned seafood. Overall, the Middleton Tavern's haunted reputation adds an intriguing layer to its rich history, offering visitors the chance to experience both its delicious cuisine and the possibility of encountering otherworldly phenomena. The Baltimore County Almshouse never runs short of ghostly tales to disturb one's sleep. There are many rumors that if you listen closely, you will be able to hear the sounds of children playing and throwing things around, as well as women chatting with each other on the third floor. If you turn on a corner quickly after hearing these sounds, there is a very big chance that you will be able to catch the glimpse of a face. Many people believe that one of the ghosts which continue to haunt the almhouse is that of Anthony Rose. He was one of its residents who died when he fell to his death down an elevator shaft. The Baltimore County Almshouse is also known as the third and last almshouse in Baltimore County. It once served as a poor house for children who need temporary housing when their guardians or parents could no longer care for them properly. It opened its doors in 1872 and it was looked upon favorably by the people in the community. The people who lived there were children, the sick, the elderly, and even the insane. It was not until 1908 when conditions took a turn for the worse. There was an article on the Baltimore Sun in June of 1909 detailing the tragic fate of a man named Anthony Rose. Anthony Rose was 75 years old and he fell down an elevator shaft and died. He was admitted to the almshouse because he was old and there was no one who would be able to take care of him. The almshouse finally closed its doors in 1958 and it now serves as the headquarters for the Baltimore County Historical Society. The Lord Baltimore Hotel in Baltimore, Maryland, is reputed to be haunted with numerous accounts of paranormal activity. The hotel, built in 1928, has been associated with reports of ghostly encounters, particularly on the 19th floor, where several individuals are said to have jumped to their deaths during the Great Depression. One of the most notable accounts revolves around a couple and their seven-year-old daughter, Molly, who are believed to haunt the hotel. Molly, often seen wearing a white dress and playing with a red ball, is frequently spotted on the 19th floor, where the family reportedly stayed. Guests and staff have reported witnessing inexplicable phenomena, including sightings of Molly, crying sounds, and the presence of the parents, who are said to dance in the ballrooms. There have also been reports of ghostly figures, moving remotes, and unexplained elevator activity, contributing to the hotel's haunted reputation. These accounts have made the Lord Baltimore Hotel a location of interest for those intrigued by paranormal experiences. While the hotel management assures guests of a luxurious stay, the presence of these ghostly encounters adds an extra layer of intrigue to the hotel's history and appeal to visitors.